All right, everybody. Got myself a new project here. Uh, I am going to be switching out my factory um, 6026 ECM for an 8746. Uh, number of different reasons. Um, first of all is overall reliability and um, replacement availability as far as the computer goes. Um, the uh, 5055 that's found in the um, 82 Corvettes, Camaros, and Trans Ams, um, as well as the 6026 that's found in the 83 Trans Ams, Camaros, and 84 Corvettes is no longer reproduced. Um, to the best of my knowledge, they haven't been for a very long time. Um, and I doubt they're ever going to be again. So that being said, um, for a very long time I've been researching. Um, I know a lot of people put in, uh, they swap in the 7747 ECM, which can be found in late 80s, early 90s throttle body trucks. Um, you know, either by repinning the harness and changing the... Um, you know, changing the connectors or getting a, uh, a ham board and having that soldered in to the, um, to the 7747 so you can still use your original card edge style connectors, which is what comes in the Crossfire cars. Um, it's not this particular connector. I mean, obviously this is one of the, literally the first ECMs GM ever made. Um, the 8746, the 7747 they all use a more modern pin and socket style connector um i've been looking at this for a really long time i was originally going to go for the 7747 but i decided to go with the 8746 for a number of reasons this one in particular is out of an 89 caprice um with a 305 throttle body um the apfn prom in it um the 8746 is also found in the um, 88 to 92 uh, 305 throttle body Camaros, uh, Firebirds, and Trans Ams. The only difference being the 8746 in the F bodies um, has VATS enabled. Um, the 8746 in the B bodies, like the Caprices, the Impalas, um, you know, stuff like that. VATS is not enabled. Um, I like the 8746 as well because you can wire in, um, it's programmed for an intake air temperature sensor. So I'll be able to add that to my air cleaner base. So, you know, any additional inputs that the ECM receives obviously is going to make for theoretically a better running motor. Um, the 8746 also is the only throttle body V8 ECM that I'm aware of. Um, that's what's that has what's called um, lean cruise mode enabled. Um, I'm not sure how old most of the viewers are on this channel, but if you've ever driven <clears throat> a late 80s, early 90s throttle body V8 GM, um, they get. I mean, I've I've owned them. They get upwards of 25 miles per gallon highway. What they do is instead of the like the 5055 and, and 6026 ECMs, the original Crossfire ECMs, they're programmed in closed loop to maintain a stoichiometric 14.73 to 1 air fuel ratio. The lean cruise mode in the 8746 um, will actually on the highway or a steady speed above I believe 50 miles an hour, I'm not sure, I'd have to go back and see what it's actually programmed at. Uh, from the factory, um, leans it out to as much as 16, 16 to 1, 16 and a half to 1 uh, air fuel ratio. The 8746 also um, adjusts your spark advance at idle, whereas the original Crossfire computer, um, both the early 82 style and then the 83, 84 style, does not. Whatever your base timing is set at, it'll give it a little bit more at idle, but it basically stays the same. Um, until you go off idle. The beauty of GM is 
all of the, I printed out, I've actually been putting this together for a little bit, um, the 82 to 84 crossfires and the 88 to 92 305 350 throttle body, um, both the 7747 and the 8746. Um, every single color on here, wire color, is identical corresponding between the two ECMs. Um, instead of going with a ham board, I decided to take a day or two. Um, I went to the junkyard, my last little junkyard run, and I snipped off um, a pair of um, harness plugs. And one by one, I'm going to go, I mean, somebody's already been in this. Um, I don't even know what this is all about, but this is the uh, 12 volt feed wire to the ECM. So that's nice, nice fix there. Um, but basically one by one, snip a wire, match it to the corresponding wire on your new pigtails, solder it in. One by one, um, you know, it'll, uh, I mean, it'd probably take a day or two, you know, here and there working on it to get it all done. There's not that many wires on it. And I know it's more intimidating for most people, you know, they would just assume go and get the ham board and, you know, but this thing will never be modified to the point where, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get into the whole EBL stuff and everything. And I know people have used moats in the past or, you know, the ostrich, all that stuff. I mean, this thing's never going to be modified for, you know, beyond what this computer will do. If it ever does end up with a 350 in it, um, you know, the cam that I put in there, um, you know, granted, this is probably not ever going to happen, but you know, the, the cam that I put in will be within the, um, I guess, capabilities of the 8746. I can change to a 350 prom. Um, and you know, if I ever did decide to get into tuning with it down the road, this computer is tunable as well as the 7747. The 5055 and 6026 are not tunable. Um, it, it just can't happen. It, it doesn't happen. It's impossible, as far as I know. And like I said, I've been in these things for a long time, and I've never, ever in my life heard of anybody being able to get into one of these and tune them for anything. Um, it's a perfectly good running computer. Never had a single problem with it. But in terms of reliability, if the original Crossfire ECM goes out, I'm out of luck. If the 8746 goes out, I can run up to any auto parts store and get a Reman ECM for 55 bucks, swap this out, put the switch the prom between the two, and I'm back up and running. Um, these original card edge um, wire connectors or plugs, um, you know, I'm sure they worked in their day. You know, I'm not really sure. I heard these had a lot of ECM problems. I wasn't around in 1982 when these things were new. Um, you know, I was two years old, so I don't really know. Um, but I did hear of a lot of ECM problems with them. I've personally owned Crossfire cars, <clears throat> specifically the 82s. It seems to be an 82 thing where the original 5055 ECM, um, just goes out. Um, my last 82 that I had, um, the, um, the fuel pump driver, uh, the fuel pump quit, quit kicking on. And there's really no fixing them. It's not worth fixing it. Um, you know, like I said, I paid, what did I pay for this thing? 30 bucks. Um, and, you know, like I said, it's, there's, they're still out there. The same basic, you know, if the 8746 ever is not available, I can put a 7747 in it. It's plug and play. Don't have to change a single wire and I can be up and running. Um, you know, so that being said, you know, like I said, you just, you go wire by wire, pin by pin, cut and solder, cut and solder accordingly. So, you know, um, I've always wanted to do this. Um, I just, uh, I just figured it's something that I would dive into. And like I said, wiring doesn't scare me. I mean, I did the whole LS swap in my, uh, my 67 Chevelle. I built that harness out of a, uh, 2002 Chevy Tahoe two-wheel drive engine harness, PCM, everything. Um, I just laid it out on the ground and over a couple of days cut out what I didn't need, cleaned up what I did need, and that was it. The thing runs perfect. Um, 
you know so that being said that's my latest project and um you know it should be uh should be a fairly easy one straightforward and um you know like i said once i'm once all the wires the once the last wire is soldered up and connected it'll be plug and play um so yeah if you guys any have any questions or anything on this um i've done a ton of research on these things doing this ecm swap um you know so be sure to uh leave me a comment or you know feel free to ask any questions that you got because um like i said i've got file folders full of printouts and tests and code and everything and you know um pertaining to these ecms the 7747 and 8746 so you know um yeah just let me know